Alrighty, today we have an interesting tutorial where we'll be deploying chatbot related to health. So let me give you a brief introduction. What is Azure AI Health Bot? So Azure AI Health Bot service is a kind of intelligent and conversational healthcare bot, which is very useful in case of medical fields or health care related fields. So today, as you can see in the architecture diagram, we'll be deploying a chatbot where it will help our um, customers so that the customers can book an appointment with the doctor in an automated way. So let's dive into the portal and do the hands-on. So I'm in the Azure portal here. Let's search Azure Health Data. And here we go, Azure Health Data and AI Services. Let's click on it. And if we try to expand the services, here we'll be get, getting under AI services, we have the Azure AI Health Bot. So today we'll be targeting the Azure AI Health Bot. Let's click over here. Now the process goes simple. We need to create healthcare agent service. Let's click on it. Let's select the subscription followed by the resource group where we'll want to deploy the healthcare agent service. Let's give a nice name to our healthcare agent service. For plan, we'll be using the free. Uh, there are many uh, like standard S1. So these are, uh, please make sure. Um, some of them are uh, costly depending upon your use case, you need to select on it. Since this is dummy tutorial, we are good with uh, 3000 Mac messages and uh, 2000 MCU. Let's click on review and create. Let's click on the create button. All right, our deployment got completed. Let's go to the resource group first. And here we have the uh, cloud health bot. Let's click on it. And here, if we look here, the management portal, we have the hyperlink. We need to copy this and open in a new browser. Let's quickly do it. I'll paste um, in a new browser and I'll load it. So you might get uh, the sign in page where you need to give your Azure credentials and after putting the Azure credentials, uh, the page will look something like this. So let's um, close this. So now uh, we are at the um, welcome screen. So we need to create one scenario in the Azure AI health bot service. So let's uh, design one conversational flow, which is under the new button. Let's hit the new button here. Here it's asking for new scenario. We need to uh, give a name for our scenario. Um, let's give a nice name. So here we go. Scenario ID, uh, please make sure this is a uh, case sensitive. So we, uh, it looks good. Uh, there, there can be any interrupting scenario as well. You can uh, write the interrupt, uh, interrupting uh, scenario if you want. Um, but uh, for this, uh, these written messages and description is not mandatory. As you can see, star mark are mandatory. You can write your description depending upon your use case, right? Once we are done, let's hit the create button. All right, it will say start authorizing this scenario. So our uh, first should be uh, like uh, here. We need to add conversational element. So first, uh, let's add one statement, kind of the welcome message. Uh, it will basically greet our customers. So let's um, give anything, uh, give a name like welcome or something, right? Let's uh, give uh, the display. This is what it uh, in the chatbot you want to display. Let's um, give one nice message. And after we are uh, done with the uh, message, uh, let's hit the save button. So here we go with the flow, the designer. So we are just getting started. We we got the two points. I'll see in a while what it use, uh, what are the use keys. So let's begin with the second uh, adding second element will be this time adding yes or no. So let's give one name kind of like a schedule or something because we will ask the user whether they want to schedule an appointment right now or not. So after giving the uh, message what we want, we are asking basically whether the customer want to book um, an immediate um, appointment with the doctor or not. 
so that's what it will ask um, and then um, we can give the maximum number of uh, retries how many times i'll give it a one please note input variable is again mandatory star mark is there right once we are done we'll save it so now we got two things here if we now if i now drag it using my left mouse button so here uh, if you note we got the two dots here so this is basically the um, uh, like output whatever uh, how you want to direct so if i left click and drag it will the arrow will uh, then I'll release the left mouse button and it will go into the schedule and we can see the arrow part here so always make sure to save your work otherwise uh, let's see uh, from my personal experience I've seen if you're not saving it and your net connection internet connection goes off then you might lose the progress so that is one of the uh, challenges um, definitely if you're building a, a long conversational bot please make sure to um, save it from time to time since this is uh, just we are getting started so we are now good so we you, you can see since it's a prompt no and yes are there so if the uh, user doesn't want uh, uh, right now we can ask them uh, please um, drop your uh, like uh, number or a thank you or goodbye something like that uh, see you later so let's do it for this i'll add simple uh, statement because uh, this is not a prompt or like a yes or no it's just a statement we'll put I'll uh, put here kind of um, thank you or something so let's give one message so after writing the message let's um, save it we have the uh, thank you here so let's put um, the uh, thank you part in the no let's connect it here let's uh, zoom it out a bit so that the flow is uh, clear now uh, we uh, let's say if the user wants to schedule one appointment so what should be uh, your approach uh, we can ask the user the phone number so that a doctor can call so what we can do we can go ahead with the add element conversation element then here is a prompt so in the prompt let's uh, uh, give one like uh, something like phone or something phone number so that we can uh, identify what this is let's ask the user for the phone number and here if you look input type how uh, what input you want since phone number belongs to the category of number i'll select number so uh, uh, it can be uh, like uh, you can design anything like uh, if you want to schedule it later like in the no part if you want to schedule later you can give the time ask for the prompt at what time should the doctor call thank you something like that 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 all so we can do so it depends how complex uh, you want to make it i'll uh, select as number we need to um, give it one variable name let's give it phone num or something this looks good maximum tries um let's make it um, two or something anything looks good i'll uh, save it let's uh, save it here we have the phone here let's connect this dot and now again uh, once the phone number is uh, there um, definitely uh, our work is done uh, we should give the message the doctor will call you up shortly so how do we give one message to the user i'll go here and go to statement because um, this is statement is kind of where we don't want anything from the user we are just giving statement so let's um give uh like uh, order confirm or something like something like that so that we can identify that uh, doctor will call let's um give save it so we have the order confirm here let's drag it here now it uh, looks uh, good so as mentioned whenever we are done with the flow always save it i'll hit save it is validating scenario please wait so it says scenario saved successfully we got the message right and as soon as we see save it we'll also get the run button here right so run is now activated so the chatbot you can see here i'll hit the run button to test how the chatbot works so if i uh, and the beautiful part is that whenever it will execute whatever statement it will blink with the green um uh, green uh, box where the statement is 
सो इट क्विकली एग्जीक्यूटेड दी वेलकम हाई देयर वेलकम टू क्लाउड गुरु अमित हेल्थ बॉट हेल्थ केयर बॉट सो इट दी फ्लो मूव फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर एंड यू गॉट दिस मैसेज नाउ वुड यू लाइक टू बुक एन अपॉइंटमेंट इमीडिएटली विद डॉक्टर नाउ सो वी आर स्टक विथ येस और नो आंसर्स सो फर्स्ट लेट्स अटेस्ट विद दी नो फ्लो राइट बिकॉज वी आर डिजाइनिंग ए चैट बॉट we need to make sure the chat bot is working correctly even if the user is selecting no it the functionality should work right so let's select no this time and see what it does see it's blinking thank that means this statement got executed whatever message we have written thank you for using our service see you soon goodbye because that's what if i double click here i have written it here in the display text make sure uh, as mentioned uh, please be careful with the display text because it will be displayed to your customers right and so that's what we got and uh, let's say i want to retest it now for the yes scenario i'll quickly again uh, i can um, clear this or i can uh, like run it again it will simply see welcome then would you like to book an appointment now i'll select yes so once i type yes it says sending so now it's in the phone please drop your phone number so that the doctor can call you so let's see the um, user um has given incorrect phone number let me give you let me show you i'll type abc and hit enter see the ai says didn't catch that please try again now i'll type the correct phone number let's say i'll give one dummy phone number 1234569 whatever i'll hit send this time now order confirm it says in the uh, here and we get the message thank you doctor will call you up shortly so that's what a message if you look uh, in the display text we have given and that's what it goes so we have um, successfully uh, built one uh, healthcare assistant or chatbot scenario you can make it as complex as you want you if you want to give suggestions related to any kind of medicines or something like someone has fever you want to prescribe something um, on behalf of like a um the doctor it is a kind of uh, conversation chatbot right so you can uh, design anything uh, for uh, small things and you can make it as complex as you want and as simple uh, as per your wish so whatever i have uh, mentioned right so this goes with the uh, chatbot part there are too many functionalities here if you look uh, language is there integration is there too much um complex um, work we can implement for this scenario since we are trying to build one chatbot this is what goes with the functionality we have uh, tested it here you can see both the scenarios we have tested and uh, the chatbot is in a um, um graphical format where we can easily see uh, where the flow is going and debug easily like as a developer as well how uh, the chatbot will show up so let's dive into the architecture as a finalizer what we have done so here in this tutorial we have deployed an azure ai healthcare uh, bot which interacts with our customers whether they want to book an appointment immediately or not if they want to book an appointment they need to drop uh, let's say their phone numbers so that uh, the team of the doctors could call up and interact with the customers and provide solution for their health related uh, issues so that's what it goes with this tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i hope you'll definitely implement if you are in the healthcare sector like medicine sector or any kind of uh, gym related se sector even maybe um, anything related to health right so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching this video